and welcome back to my channel. So today we're gonna be doing this affordable makeup look and I really wanted to do something that you guys could wear for Thanksgiving. I was thinking to myself, what am I gonna wear on Thanksgiving as far as a makeup look? And I definitely wouldn't wear a super smoky eye or anything crazy like that. I just wanted to do something very light and the colors I wanted to incorporate were pink and champagne and just really light girly colors that are very natural looking. Although this is kind of like a full face makeup look, it's not as intense as I usually would go. And I think that on Thanksgiving, it's really nice to spend time with your family and just focus on that instead of worrying about your lipstick coming off or something, or just worrying about your makeup in general. It's just nice to kind of spend time with your family and that's what I intend on doing. Basically not worry about your makeup on Thanksgiving, just something really natural and easy and just kind of emphasizes your natural beauty, I guess you could say. When I go out, people usually ask me about what I'm wearing or my makeup. And on Thanksgiving, I really don't want to kind of do that. I don't want to do something that's kind of distracting, if that makes sense. I just wanted to do something that was very pretty and natural and easy to recreate and also affordable that I think you guys would really enjoy. I also incorporated an affordable outfit. So if you guys watch this video all the way to the end, you will get all details about my outfit fit my earrings my whole get up. I went shopping at very affordable stores for these pieces. So I hope you guys enjoy this video. And if you do, don't forget to like this video and subscribe. And if you want to get ready with me because I'm going to be talking through this whole video, then just keep on watching. All right, so to start this look out, I'm going to be mixing the Magic Lumi Light Infusing Primer with the L'Oreal True Match Lumi Illuminator, and this is in gold. I'm just going to mix these together to give a nice warm glow to the skin. And I'm just pumping about a pump and a half on my hand, and then taking a bit of the illuminator, I'm just going to mix that right in. So when you mix these two together, it kind of looks like this, and it reminds me a lot of the Becca Backlit Priming Filter, and I use that almost every day in every one of my tutorials, and it's my favorite primer. So this is definitely like a dupe version. So for foundation, I'm going to use the Infallible Pro Glow by L'Oreal and this is in shade 205. And this is definitely a lot darker than what my complexion is right now, but that's okay because usually in the fall time or the winter time, I do go a little bit darker on my foundation because I get super pale. So this is one of my favorite drugstore foundations. It's so light on the skin and it covers really, really well, and you really don't need a lot of it. I only used about a quarter size drop of it, and it covered my entire face. And you also wanna bring this down onto your neck just to blend it and make it look very natural. So for concealer, I am gonna use the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer in light, and I'm just gonna apply this underneath my eyes. I'm also just kinda of dotting around in little areas that I have a little bit of pimples going on and I'm just gonna cover them up. This concealer covers them up really, really good. And this concealer matches the L'Oreal 205 really, really well. So if you are in shade 205, light and Maybelline Fit Me Concealer is perfect. Now I'm gonna go in and set my entire face and I am using the Superstay Better Skin Powder by Maybelline in Nude Beige. And I actually just got this today because I really wanted to try it out. I've seen a lot of people use this powder and I heard it's really, really good. And I just love face powders. It does give a really nice finish. What I'm noticing is it's really really pretty and soft and it reminds me a lot of the Urban Decay foundation powder that I use all the time. It's so much like it. To brighten up under the eyes and set the concealer I'm using the L'Oreal Infallible Pro Matte Powder and this is in the lightest shade that it comes in and I'm also going to take this on the chin as well as the forehead to just kind of highlight a little further. I kind of find that highlighting with like a face powder works a lot better than using just like a translucent if you really want a very matte and opaque finish. I feel like using a face powder is just like perfect for that. So for brows, I'm just gonna lightly fill them in with the Brow Stylist Definer by L'Oreal, and this is the darkest shade. I recently got my brows tinted. I think I mentioned that to you guys a couple times in my Get Ready With Me video. I recently just got them tinted yesterday. I'll show you guys a before and after picture really quickly of how they turned out. I really like them because I feel like I don't have to fill in as much. Like I'm going really light with this pencil right now, but you really don't have to do much when you get your brows tinted. It just makes everything so much more to find. So I got my brows tinted at Charm Beauty Bar in Pensacola, Florida. So for those of you that do live in this area, just go there and ask for Shantina Evans. She is amazing and I love the way she did my brows. She also waxed them a little bit. They're like super, super clean. All right, so now that we have our face almost done and our eyebrows are done, we're gonna move on to eyes. 
All right, so the first thing you're gonna wanna do is prime your eyelids so your shadow stays on all day long. And I'm just using the Maybelline Fit Me Concealer that I used before on my eyes just to conceal. I'm gonna use this as my primer today. All right, so for eyes, I'm using this L'Oreal Quad in Avenue Des Roses. It's a really pretty pink light shade and I really love it. I'm gonna take this beautiful mauve and I'm gonna go right into the crease with that for our transition. I'm also gonna take the mauve shade and kind of bring it down into the lower lash line as well. Now I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Color Tattoo and this is in the shade Barely Branded, which is a really pretty champagne color. So now that I've applied that base, I'm gonna go in with this pink shade right here and just pop this onto the lid. It's a very beautiful pink. I just think it's so pretty. These L'Oreal quads are just so beautiful. They're so shimmery and pigmented really nice for a drugstore like eyeshadow quad this one's definitely really really pretty i'm kind of taking that color and just kind of brushing it up a little bit so now i'm taking this l'oreal infallible shadow in always pearly pink and this pink reminds me a lot of whimsical by makeup geek if you guys own that shadow you definitely know that this one looks a lot like it it's just like a very icy pink and it's really pretty for an inner corner highlight so now i'm going to go into this dark brown and i'm just going to use this to kind of define the eye and add in a little bit of depth and darkness and I'm just concentrating that brown on the outer corner of the eye only and now I'm just going back in with the mauve I used before and blending everything together so now I'm just gonna fill in the waterline with a brown liner and this is by Rimmel so now going in with this really light pink I'm gonna go in and highlight the brow bone and this is just gonna define everything and also lift the eyes up these L'Oreal quads are so pretty now I just want to buy every single one so now I'm applying the Rimmel volume colorist mascara and the really cool thing about this mascara is it says after two weeks this tints your lashes and it had a little picture on the front showing an example and I haven't used it for that long yet, but I'm gonna continue using it to see if it actually does that because how awesome would that be? So now I'm gonna go in with some lashes and I'm using the Ardell Glamour Lashes in the style 107 and you can see they're super wispy and pretty and they're kind of longer on the edges. And you definitely don't have to wear false lashes on Thanksgiving. You don't even have to wear any makeup on Thanksgiving, but because I wear false lashes so much, I'm just gonna pop them on today. And this is the final eye look. All right, so moving back to the face, I'm using the Superstay Better Skin Transforming Powder in Coconut. And this is the one I use to set my whole face, but this is a darker shade. So I'm just gonna use this to kind of warm up the skin and contour just kind of slightly, but not too, too much. This is a really, really nice face powder that you could actually get in this dark color to bronze and it's perfect. I really, really like it a lot. And just for some added warmth and shimmer, I'm gonna go over it with the Milani Tantastic Face and Body Bronzer. And this is very, very glittery. Wow, that's really pretty. It kind of reminds me of the Lorac Tantalizer. I've never tried this before, I actually got this today. For blush, I'm gonna use my drugstore favorite. This is the Milani, Milani. The Milani Luminoso Baked Powder Blush, and this is it. It's like a very pretty peach color, and I'm just gonna kind of pop this right onto the cheeks. So I also picked up the Maybelline Master Strobing Stick, and this is it right here. It's in the shade Medium Nude Glow. And I'm just going to apply this kind of to the middle area of my nose. And I had tried this on the back of my hand and it stayed on for so long. And I like this because you could actually put this over powder. All right, so now I'm gonna use my favorite drugstore highlight and this is by Wet n Wild. This is the Fergie Collection Hollywood Boulevard Highlight. This is the prettiest gold I think you could get at the drugstore. This is just really pretty. It's kind of intense, I'm gonna have to blend that a little bit. Okay, so now for lips, I've been debating on what I'm gonna use. Should I go pink? All right, so I'm gonna go in with the Maybelline Blushing Beige. It's a little too nude, way too light for my liking. It's a very, very nice neutral pink, I like it. All right, so if you want your makeup to last, you're gonna wanna set it with the Wet n Wild Photo Focus setting spray. I love this setting spray. It's amazing. I actually bought a new one today because I have used my other one so much and it's just probably the best drugstore setting spray that you can get. So I just like to go in and set. I think the best thing about this is the spray bottle that it has. Just the way it sprays mists your entire face 
and I hate using sprays that just like spray in one area of the face and then it ruins the makeup. This gets your whole face. So I quickly changed the lip because I wanted something a little darker. This is the Milani Amour Matte Lip Cream and it is in Lust. I love it. All right, so now that I have the makeup done, I'm gonna show you guys my affordable outfit that you guys could wear for Thanksgiving if you're going to your in-laws house, your parents house, or to a friend's. This outfit's just really affordable, it's comfortable, and it's perfect for the holiday. All right, you guys, so this is my puppy Lucas for those of you who haven't met him before and he's the cutest thing in the entire world, what can I say? So onto the outfit, I am wearing a very affordable outfit. I got it a couple different places. I got this sweater at Walmart for $14.95. It's super comfy and perfect for Thanksgiving, and I think it's really cute as well. I paired it with a crossbody that I love and some gold jewelry. I also wanted to pair it with some heels to make it a little bit more sophisticated and trendy. And these are from Payless. I really like how they have that lace detail. It's just really girly and pretty. And of course, of course, I had to show off my crossbody. I got this at Target. It's very, very cute. It's by Sam and Libby. I just love the gold strap on it, so that's why I paired it with a lot of gold jewelry, like gold earrings, and also some gold and black bangles, which I thought went really well and complemented the outfit really beautifully. So I hope you guys enjoyed this look and this makeup tutorial today, and I really love how everything turned out. If you did too, don't forget to like this video and subscribe if you haven't. I hope you all have an amazing Thanksgiving, and thank you so much for watching today. I will see you all in my next tutorial.